In today's video, we're testing out three of your comment requests using crystals, eggs, and juice to see how they turn out. It's that time again that <laughs> gives us a weird mix of things. That's right, we've taken some of your comment requests and we're gonna try several of them out in one video. These are things that we think they're really cool ideas, but maybe they aren't a whole video. Yeah. So we do want the answers because we're curious as well. There's gonna be some interesting mixes here, but these will be three separate things. And I'm very excited to see how these work. These are really clever, you guys. Here's the basic idea. We've combed through some of the comments and found some popular ones that we wanna to try today. Can we add color to potassium nitrate crystals? Can we dye eggs before we cook them? And can we turn real fruit juice into cotton candy? All right, what's the first one? First one, Joshua wants to know, what if you dehydrated the juices into a powder and then put that powder into the cotton candy machine? That's a really cool idea. We have tried lots of different things in the past in our cotton candy machine, but we've never tried actual fruit juice. So we wanna know if it'll work. We're gonna take some of our juice, pour it into cups, run it to the freeze dryer, dry it out completely, and then we'll try that in the cotton candy machine. But I want to try a slight modification to that as well which is to take the juice and then saturate it with sugar. Just add as much sugar as will dissolve into the juice and then freeze dry that. We'll try both and we'll see what kind of results we get from them. So we can fit 21 cups on this tray. We'll do five of each variety. So let's pour up a cup of our grape juice here and then just start adding sugar into it and see how much sugar we can dissolve in there. All right. Go put these up in our freeze dryer, and then we'll start on the next one. We'll come back to this tomorrow. Next up, we have a comment from Bike Breaker Supermoto versus Enduro. That's quite a username right wow. there. They wanted to know if we could inject food coloring into an egg and hard boil it to get colored eggs. So we're gonna find out. We have some eggs. We've we got quite a bit of food coloring. We're going to try a few different methods to get food coloring inside the eggs and then we'll cook them and see what kind of result that gives us. We're gonna want a very small needle, I think, because inside the shell is a membrane. When Callie has dissolved eggs by putting them in vinegar, the shell is gone, but the membrane stays there. We're gonna have to puncture that as well, but hopefully if we have a small enough hole and only one hole, it's not no, gonna fall out. no egg will leak out, or at least very, very little. I've just got some files, and I'm gonna try and take down the shell in one spot, make it really thin, okay. and then just stab right through it. And I'm just gonna take this sewing pin, just gonna poke a hole in it. I'm gonna try and make a purple egg. You know what, I'm gonna go with green. I think I've got a really thin spot on my shell now. Okay. Just been filing that down. Here's my thin spot. I'm gonna see if I can stab through that with the syringe here. Oh, yeah, that stabbed through very nicely. So I just have this tiny, tiny pin prick of a hole. There's one little like blob kind of floating around See if you can see where my purple Do you think is. That's all of it. I'm gonna have to try and like shake it up a little bit, see if we can get that to mix up. As long as there's no impact, you don't really need to be super careful with these. I have seen people put them in a towel and like spin them around to make a scrambled egg in the shell. Kind of wondering if I can do that. Oh, I think I have overcome the capacity of my eggshell. It's now squeezing <laughs> out egg starting to pull a tiny bit of it, but it's just too much. I am dying the inside of my eggshell. You can actually see where it's staying. That's on the inside, because I've scratched through the membrane. I was actually trying to do that. I've tried to mix up my purple. Let's see if it's worked at all. We're gonna see if we can make a black egg inside. I wanna have more than one of these. These are cool. Oh, see, now this is fun. I'm putting it into one, and it's egg, the goop is squirting out of all the other holes, so. This is water. This is salt. I'm going to make some super saturated salt water and see what happens if I inject a little bit of that into an egg. Well, let's boil them. Boil, boil, toil and trouble. All right, let's try these out. Freaky weird breakfast food that you should serve to your guests or blotchy abomination that has no purpose being made. I seem to have a little bit of color all through mine. I think it is concentrated near the injection site, mm -hmm. but I do think I have, oh yeah, there's some very concentrated bits. Oh my goodness. Okay, Nate, check this out. What on earth happened to that <laughs> egg? <laughs> this is the first one I tried to fill. You angered it. <laughs> that is an angry egg. Okay, so this is the one that I injected with black. 
This is where I injected it, and there's obviously a ton of color right there, but there is also marks and visible darkening going around to the other sides. I am gonna cut all of these open, mm -hmm. but I just wanna peel all of mine first Same. before I cut them open. If I got a hard boiled egg and it looked like that, I would not be very happy about it. I would be, I don't understand you. <laughs> what have we done? All right, so the salt one, I think obviously the taste is what's supposed to change on this one and- Go for it. Is it salty at all? I think it is a little bit actually. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and like that's not just a blob of color, like that is egg with color mixed into it. It didn't travel through the egg very mm. well. I'm hoping my black one that I tried to spin around will. All right, green, shaken a fair amount. Just one injection site. I'm just gonna try and slice it right past the injection point. There you go. How did you get it in the yolk? I have no idea. I oh, think, you can actually see yeah, the injection site. The yolk on this egg was really close to the edge, like by luck, I think, happened to be right where I poked it in and the needle actually got into the yolk. This one's interesting. So mine went almost, because I put so much coloring in there. That is still egg, but it's gone almost like gelatinous. Gross. This is the black egg. So I'm just gonna slice this one in half again. I'm wondering if I got in the yolk again. Nope, this time it avoided the yolk. Wow, okay. But it That's got around cool. it really nicely. All right, I'm gonna look at my black egg. This one was shaking so much and starting to like come apart in some places. This is the one I think had multiple injection sites is what's happened here. And it's gooping all over my hand with the black, so. Okay, so mine, I actually did inject Ooh. mine in this one too. That is a very black looking egg. You got that a lot. <laughs> Look at that, where it got injected directly into the yolk. My last one, this is my nightmare child of a tie-dyed egg. <laughs> Mostly green. Wow, it's a lot of green got in there. Yeah, I think the green is the overwhelming color with this poor egg. So my advice is if you're trying this, because this actually could be kind of cool for some special occasions, like an Easter hard boiled egg. I think the pin works great. You can just poke it part way into the shell. Yep. But I would say not the very middle, like aim for the sort of the top and try not to hit the yolk. That's my personal opinion. And only maybe five to 10 milliliters of color per spot. Very, very small holes and then shake it a fair amount to get that mix in there. I think you really can. So Bike Breakers Supermoto versus Enduro. Thank you for your comment suggestion about dying eggs. That works really nicely, actually. We have another comment here. Issei Grimorium says, you should add food coloring to the solution and see if crystals change color when they cool off. Now, what were we thinking he meant here? Well, that comment was on the video where Grant showed how to make potassium nitrate oh, crystals okay. using stump remover. Now this is potassium nitrate. And in this case, it's like a granulated formula, but the goal is to just grow crystals off of it. So we're gonna take two cups of our potassium nitrate, mm -hmm. three cups of water, put it on the stove and just stir it until it's completely all dissolved. And then before, Grant just poured it off into some bowls and he let it cool down very slowly, kind of overnight, and really cool crystals grew in it. So that's what we're gonna do. Put it in the pot, get it cooked up, stir it till it's all mixed in, and then we're gonna choose some color, add some food coloring, and then we're just gonna pour it into bowls, let it slowly crystallize overnight, and we're gonna see if that color gets transferred into the crystals or not. We have let our crystals crystallize, and um, yep. I'm seeing some good results. The question is if we could use food coloring to dye the crystals colors, uh, and it's looking like They're we looking at least have turquoise. color on them. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm gonna pour off the extra liquid here. We definitely did just lose a lot of color, yep. but I don't think everything. That still has color to it. They are fairly fragile crystals. I mean, this crystal here, for example, like it can just break off and then snap. So they're not super strong, but they do look really good. I mean, look at that, that's sweet. There is a slight green tint to it. I wonder if you can actually wash the color Try off of the surface, off? yeah. It's gonna do a very quick rinse. Actually, yeah, okay. It's pretty minor, it's but there's still some color. Yeah, so here's the one I just rinsed off. This was a fairly thick piece. And just holding it, you'd think, okay, that's just a clear crystal. But when you put it down on the white paper towel, there's a turquoise tint left. And I rinsed off, like I dissolved the outside of that. It's beautiful. I love the look. It fades a little bit. You can see that the water we poured off is a very vibrant emerald shade. And what's left in the bowl is sort of a washed out, lightened up version of it, but. I don't care, it's still beautiful. It looks cool. So yes, 
You yes, can. Yes, you can <laughs> dye the potassium nitrate crystals just using a little bit of food coloring. It works great. We freeze dried some juice. We did, it's a lot of juice. Now, this is the most interesting thing to me here is these ones on this side, the ones that have the Sharpie on them, these are the ones that we didn't add anything to. This is just the juice itself. The ones that expanded more, they have this really cool like glazed coating. These are the ones that we saturated with sugar and they definitely expanded more than the ones that were just 100% juice. So we're gonna try and turn this into cotton candy. So we're gonna grind it up a little bit. We're gonna keep it a little bit coarse because cotton candy, uh, sugar is normally pretty coarse. If it gets too fine, it just blows right out of the machine. So let's grind it up a little. What should we start with? And then let's start with grape, no sugar added. Hmm, it's still a little bit gummy textured. It's a little concerning. Do you wanna just add some sugar into it and mix it up? All right, let's turn on the machine, get it heated. I don't have a lot of high hopes for this grape sugar mix here. I think we're gonna get some burn. Well, it made it angry. I smell something burning. Oh, it's There's... coming, okay, it's dust. It's come apart in dust, you guys. Oh, and there is a burn smell in the air. I think that's burning grape, grape. juice. Can you see this in the camera? This is insane. Whew. Hey. <laughs> Our orange juice without sugar, there's virtually no foam on it. Our orange juice with sugar has more foam, but still less than the grape juice did. So I don't think our orange juice is going to work. All right, grape juice with extra sugar added. That is a big old puff. I'm just gonna take this puff and throw it right in. Not cohesive wisps, but some no, wisps. Yeah, I'm not getting anything on this. One more test, adding sugar to the overly sugared, but really good foam. So maybe we'll get like a powder this time. Just keeping the parts that are actually powdered. All of the color that you're seeing here is just from grape juice. I'm gonna give it a taste test. I'll be honest, there's not much grape flavor there. I'm gonna try it anyway. Wait. We're getting some cotton. It smells bad. Yeah but it is forming cotton, some fluff. It's fluff with very, very little color to it. And Most the terrible the smell, guys. Normally, the juices have at least some sort of good smell to them. I'm going to warn you. That I'm going to love it a lot. It tastes like tomatoes. Nate hates tomatoes. It kind of does taste like tomatoes. <laughs> Why? Why does burned grape juice put in a cotton candy machine taste like tomatoes? It's really not good. Like, not good at all. Sadly, I think that turning real fruit juice into cotton candy is not a good way to go. Artificial flavors, I think, is the way you're gonna win that. Anything that is gooey isn't going to work. This stickiness, you're not gonna get it. We've tried this multiple times, multiple ways with multiple different kinds of honey. We've tried it with juice. I think there's... it usually means that there's another type of sweetener, maybe the yes. wrong kind of sugar that doesn't melt down and reform into those long, hard strings that's what make up cotton candy. If you wanna spend 48 hours to make a very small batch of tomato-tasting cotton candy, Boy, have we got an idea for you. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for your comment suggestions. All three of the things we tried today were from the comments. We had mixed results. Some worked great, some less great, but we enjoyed doing them and we think we have all learned something. So thank you. Please keep sending in your ideas. We do search through the comments trying to find good ideas. And if you see a comment that you want us to try, give it a thumbs up so we can see it more. Guys, that was a ton of fun. Thank you so much for your suggestions. If you want to see our most recent video, you can hit that box up at the top and we'll talk to you in the next one. See you then.